Well, hey everyone, and welcome back to Canyon's Corner. Now, uh, this particular episode, I'd like to talk a bit about the title track off my brand new album. I guess it's so, so much brand new now, a few months old. Uh, Better Be Home Soon. Now, Better Be Home Soon, for those of you who probably uh, recognize the song, uh, is an old crowded house tune. Of course, uh, it's a song that I learned back in 1988, and uh, it was kind of funny stories. My dad um, always thought I wrote the song. I didn't have the heart to tell him. I'm pretty sure he knows better now. Um, but he used to love the song a lot. I remember it's one of the first songs uh, that I ever played live in front of a crowd. And um, it was at West Picto District High School, uh, the school I went to, grade 7 through 12, uh, out in uh, Lionsbrook, uh, back in Nova Scotia there. And, um, you know, it's funny, all these memories uh, flood me every time I sing this song. But one stands out, and most in particular, is uh, I played a 12-string guitar when I first played this song in front of a crowd, a variety concert, I believe it was, there at West Picto. And um, kind of grew up playing 12 string, not something you see too often. And so uh, I'm going to play it today uh, the way I would have played it back then. Um, I'm not sure what my voice would would have been uh, back then. It's maybe, maybe it's not as clear now as it was back then. But it's uh, on, on a 12 string. You can see. There's... 12 strings on that. For those of you who don't um, don't really uh, know what a, a 12 string guitar is, mm -hmm. uh, basically six string guitars as, as were most most common. And then the other six strings that go uh, with each individual string are an octave up. So you can hear that. That's your E string. Or your... And so basically when you play it gives you a much fuller sound. Uh, Great songs. Uh, I remember playing as a kid, uh, Gordon Lightfoot songs, Evan Fitzgerald, on 12 string. Just because it rings, it rings so well. So, just a, a little, uh, a little bit of, I guess, trivia there. When uh, when you see the shows, if you, if you guys uh, are able to come out to some of the shows, you may see me playing a 12 string, and uh, and that's why. Um, it just fits in so well, and it's kind of a part of my heritage. Um, Growing up in Nova Scotia, playing uh, playing a lot of a lot of material just by myself, just me and a guitar, and you can do a bit more with a twelve than you can with with a six. So back to the song. Um, this song, uh, like I said, an old crowded house tune, and, and I sang it for a long time. I never considered it as a single. And Richard Marks, um, who produced what I do and now has produced this new record, Richard and I got talking about the song. He thought it was a great idea, and. Um, we went into the studio, and this is stuff you'll hear on Canyon's Corner, you won't hear anywhere else. We went into the studio, and, and we kind of got stumped. Um, we recorded it the way I guess I would have sang it for how many odd years, and uh, it didn't work. And Richard, thank goodness uh, for his brilliance, um, was able to come up with a, a treatment to the song that really works well on the record and sort of kind of takes it and hopefully makes it my kind of song. And then uh, from there, when we shot the video, we worked with, uh, with a group called uh, POV. And uh, what, a, what a wonderful organization in, in helping out uh, young people and adults that, that are trying to get into, um, into the, the music business or the shooting business, the filming, um, all that sort of stuff, movie business, TV. And it was a wonderful, wonderful experience uh, working with them. And, uh, uh, this year, of course, the CCMAs have, have blessed us with a nomination for Video of the Year. And i got to be honest, uh, I really, really am, am hoping that that, that that video wins, but not for me, for this group from POV that so deserve to be uh, recognized and acknowledged, not just for their work on the video, but their work in general in, in uh, taking control of their lives and, and, uh, and pushing hard and working hard to, uh, to live a dream. And um, hopefully everybody's seen the video. If you haven't, uh, go on YouTube. Um, it's definitely a video I've watched a few times, and I've also watched CMT made a behind-the-scenes uh, making of the of the video, and that was really touching. Uh, getting to see uh, everyone there from POV doing their doing their hard work and, and living their dreams. It's exciting to see someone, um, you know, experiencing a dream coming true. So anyway, um, now you know quite a bit about this song. There's a lot to there's a lot to this song, there's a lot to a lot of the material I record. There's always a story. There has to always be a story. And everybody has a story. I love listening to stories. Um, if you want, uh, send in some, uh, some questions or even some stories of your own about songs and how they've touched you, and we can share those here on Canyon's Corner. But let's see what happens. This is, uh, this is kind of 
a little bit nervous because it's, it's like being back there when I was uh, 16 years old doing this or 17. Somewhere deep inside, things got to hold on. It's pushing me aside, so it's stretch on forever. So that's Better Be Home Soon, uh, and that's pretty close to the way I actually played it in 1987, 88, um, back when I was a kid. Still, I'm a pretty big kid. Just uh, might not have as clear a voice now as I did back then. Thanks for tuning in to Kane's Corner. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun uh, doing these little, these little uh, inter internet bits, and uh, we're going to hopefully keep it up. Um, trying to do it on uh, different locations uh, all around the globe where we're playing, where we can. So uh, thanks, thanks again for tuning in. Tune back. God bless you. Take care.